Divas. I have another beautiful Diamond Art Club to show you. It's called Shell Basket by Susan Wingett. It's a round diamond painting and it is a 76 by 42. It's a beautiful size, uh, which means 30 inches by 17 inches. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Listen toward the end of the video to make sure that you hear my special announcement. All right, let's get on with the opening. You'll notice that every Diamond Art Club is um, covered in plastic, and that's because you, you know, your delivery person might leave them on the door on a rainy day. You never know, and it protects your goodies from inside. Also, on the box, you will see that there is a 10, scan me for 10% off code on your next diamond painting. You will notice that when you open your box, don't forget to look at the packing slip very closely. There's usually a special code on there for an additional discount to come. And why aren't you coming out of the box? Why are you not coming out correctly? There we go. You will find another discount code at the bottom of the canvas when we finally get into that. And I gotta tell you, I don't think Diamond Art Club wants you to pay full price for any of them. If it's your very first time ordering from Diamond Art Club, I ask you to do me a little favor and click down below for, use my affiliate link for 15% off of your very first Diamond Art Club painting. I wanna show you the little sticker that comes inside. It's a little thumbnail of your painting. It gives you the pertinent information. A lot of times people put them on the bottom of the box so that when you pack them away, you'll know which one is hiding out in there, right? Now, toolkit. Every good kit needs goodies, right? All right. You get a bag of baggies to help you kit up or get down, whichever, <laughs> whichever you use them for. You have a pretty white tray with high sides and high ridges. They like to line up nice and easily in those. And that has a little stopper on there you can take out in order to dump them out. You have a random pen and matching colored squishy. That's very useful. You also have two multi-placers to go on them, a four and a seven. You get a heart with two hearts of wax. That's really all you need for diamond painting. You don't need any extra goodies, but <laughs> this is like the fourth little, little bunny rabbit I've gotten, <laughs> the strawberries, fourth or fifth. Uh, anyway, uh, they are cover minders. You pull back the plastic and pinch it between the canvas and the magnet so that it holds it back while you're working. Another bonus that you get sometimes, that you get a random colored washi tape, and that is to help keep the dander and dust and stuff off of the edges of your painting that still has like that overrun of glue on it. Also, it can, it can help you um, Keep your first rows of diamonds nice and square and even when you put them on the row. And it could also help you divide up your plastic canvas into smaller sections. Give you a guideline to cut on. All right, that's the toolkit. Let's open this beautiful canvas. I'm going to unroll it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're going to see this sideways so that I can get it all in one. You'll notice that on the bottom of every Diamond Art Club canvas, you'll find a, uh, a warranty, which means that if there's anything wrong with missing diamonds or something wrong with the canvas, you contact customer support and they'll do their best to rectify the problem. Also, you'll see that every canvas has an anti-fray pinked and poked edge, 
Looks like it's cut with a pinky shears and poked with an empty sewing machine needle. That prevents it from fraying. This kit has 46 different colors and uh-oh, there are two special drills in here along with one Aurora Borealis drill. Okay, so this is part of it. You'll see the seashells. At the very bottom in the center of every canvas, you will see their social media information. And if you notice, there's also another discount code in here. And if you uh, want to post your masterpiece up on their social media, you can get points for uh, toward a discount, toward, uh, toward being a diamond or a ruby or a club member. And at the bottom of the canvas, you also see a thumbnail, the Diamond Art Club inventory number, the name of the painting, Shell Basket, the size of it, and the licensed artist, Susan Wingett's on here. Now, let's see it in its entirety, if you can see it all in the camera. All right, look at this, seashells in a basket. My mom has a shore house that this would be perfect in. You see the ocean in the background. You see the sea grasses and the plumes going on. You have some purple flowers. You have a variety of seashells and a basket with a bow on it. Very, very pretty. Very refreshing. I notice that you have a thank you uh, booklet with additional codes, especially for the app on there. And you have a thumbnail. Uh, a thumbnail picture that you can put in your notebook and let's see 46 colors two of them are specials and one of them is an aurora borealis each of these are individually cut little stickers that you can use to kit up and let's see they okay you have the symbol number you have the the sequence number i'm sorry you have the sequence number you have the symbol very very clear symbols and you have the dmc color code number on the edge all righty the packet comes with the kit number and the name of the kit on it open it up and find those goodies Each canvas is a low lit canvas, and it's a nice, soft, fuzzy back, but stiff enough to work on. It, they also have very sticky glue. Okay, and if, remember, if you purchase it from anyone other than Diamond Art Club, the warranties are void on it. Just wanted to make sure that you knew that. Let's get a look at these drills, shall we? And then we'll see where they go on the canvas. Okay. I like to cut them in short strips so that they fit back into the bag real well. I'm hoping you can see the numbers and the colors on here. Don't forget, I have a special announcement at the end that you might want to uh, stick around for. There are um, videos, not just on diamond painting on this channel, but I have videos on junk journaling, on art journaling, on kind of cross stitch, and other kind of crafts. And I do a lot of different kinds of things with, with uh, the extra drills and the special drills that, like freestyle stuff that I would love to show you how to do yourself. Pretty soon I'm going to be blinging up a pair of sneakers. <laughs> uh, recently, you will find in the last month or so, I um, put up a video on the different kinds of tools, different kinds of diamond painting pens there are out there. A couple of them are ergonomic and a couple of them are um, 
are lighted to help you see what you're doing in case you have a disability and several of them are just wacky <laughs> and I'm going to test them out for you to see what you might think of them also I do planning so there are some planner videos and sticker videos available to see I'll show you the special drills so the one that's a, a regular Aurora Borealis is 140 and that's the number one and I can already see that it's going to be in I'll show you in a minute where they're going to be in so I can widen the, the view here also we have two with the letter Z and the ones that start with Z are fairy dust diamonds now fairy dust differs from Aurora Borealis in that the AB just like the aurora in the sky, you're going to see all different colors in it. It has a special coating that reflects all colors of the light. And sometimes it looks like the color has changed, but it's got a super sparkle on it. Fairy dust diamonds, they look plain to work with, but when the sun hits them, they have tiny flecks of like diamond dust on them. And it reflects the color that it is, but it just shines them up super special. So we have a purple and a brown, like an orangey brown um, for that. Now let me widen you out again so you can see the whole canvas. All right, now where are they gonna go? The AB Blues are number ones. And first of all, I do see them in a line all the way across the horizon with the, the ocean. I also see them a little bit in the coxcomb here. Uh, let's see. And in that one down there, and a little bit in here. I also see it in the grasses, just a little bit in the grasses. So it draws your eye up as well as across. That's the um, difficulty in a painting like this, is you need the focal point. It does go solidly across, but you also need something to draw your attention up as well. And that's why all these beautiful grasses are in the background as well. And then the blue, you have the special blue in this fan-shaped shell here. Beautiful. So you even have an arch in it. Okay, so now where do these fancy pants go, things go? The, this is the number letter K. So, oh, I found these diamond dust in this coxcomb here, and in this one, in this one, and in the end. So this, again, brings the arch in brings the look of the arch across and it brings your eye up and over. These are the orange diamond dust and they are the double dots and they are in the bow. I think it's kind of like a rattan or a sizal type of bow and it's in the plumes here are the, of the grasses in the plumes over there and there is some in the basket. So you do have some that ground it. You have some that bring the eye up and over. You have some that bring it into an arch. And you have some that keep it in a straight line. So I love the way Diamond Art Club renders their, their paintings and their special drills. Tons of color, but yet not too much that you get lost and muddy in the different kinds of colors. And then when they add the special drills in, it just brings your eye to different focal areas of the painting. Now, if you're curious as to if you need to work with these drills in a special way, I do have a video down below, the special video giving you at least 20 hints on working with uh, Aurora Borealis and special like crystals and special drills. Um, there are some unique ways in working with them so that you don't pull off the coating as you're working with them. Also, I think the only other thing that I would, one thing that I would add. Now, I would go with an AB in some of this, this the, um, where the light reflects off of these. Now, this is a 3865. I think I would do that in an AB. Some of the, I don't think I'd go for the clouds in the back as much as I'd add some to the seashells in here right where the dots are. There's little little dots in here. Uh, there's some in this, in this sand dollar. Uh, let's see. 
I think that's all for the dots, but there's some in in the background in the sand. I would definitely do those as well. I leave the clouds be because you have enough gorgeousness going on here, but I would just ground it with a little 3865 Aurora Borealis or fairy dust, either one. If you want a discount for 10% off of the special sparklers for diamond painting with sparklers, uh, you may go click my link uh, down below. I don't get any kickback from that. It's just that uh, uh, Timo was nice enough to give you an extra discount code there. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And ah, uh, yes, I didn't forget the special announcement. In July, the third Tuesday night in July, if you join me at 9 o'clock for a special Tea and Talk Tuesday night, I will be auctioning off some of my stash of diamond paintings. I need to make room and be able to move into a, a new Crafty Studio place. It'll take some time, but I need to make room. Uh, so if you, I will have a special preview the week before. The auction will begin at 9 p.m. the third Tuesday night in July. All right. Hope to see you there, divas. Bye. Thank you.